format at the moment. There's a lot of decks which makes it very difficult to select them. They're all like on the same level. Um, so choosing a deck for this tournament was quite difficult because uh, but I chose one that was very sort of more familiar with than every other deck. So I thought that was more important than choosing a deck that you think might be a little bit better. But you can't play it because you, you can't play it well because uh, you're gonna be facing a lot of different matches. I think I think the only time I played a uh, duplicate deck was with Spiral and Twice and Alter Guys three times. Everything else was a completely different deck. So if you don't know the interactions with the other decks right now, then um, you have to play just whatever you know best. Right. That's it. So it's not that, it's pretty standard to be fair. Um, for the Salmon Great Masters to Jag. Two spinning, one Falco, three Fox. Oh, that's not Foxy. Three Foxy, and one Jack. I think that's pretty standard. Um, some people play Foul, but Foul doesn't really do anything. Uh, it it, it kind of it's an extender, but it almost turns your deck into a little bit more of a combo deck, so you can run into an Abira a bit more often. And that's also why I didn't play the Coda version because although it was very strong, you basically turn it into more of a combo deck. And it ends up being, um, it ends up being like, in game two and three, you can play around the build, but uh, you don't have the luxury to play around the build with the coder version because you just have to make that play, you just have to make the combo play. So I chose against those things. The starters, three buffalo, and two lady debug. If I was playing the coder version, I'd play three, but five starters is fine. For the hand traps to Nibiru, um, this could have been Bell because it it's good for like Cold by the Grave and anything like DD Pro that tries to banish your Salaman Great. But uh, with the amount of combo decks that are actually around, um, the Rockets, um, uh, Shadow runs into this as well sometimes, Spiral. I decided something uh, a bit more impactful going first uh, in game one. Yeah, it's better. For Yash. This is a, this is a, <laughs> it's only a must in maybe Alter Guys and uh, and uh, Salmon Man Great. Every other deck right now it doesn't really need to play this card, but it's a must right here. Free DD Crow, probably the best hand trap right now. And for the final monster, Prohibit Snake. Okay. So this thing, um, <laughs> this thing makes the deck a lot better in terms of it, it makes it out a lot more stuff and it's very versatile. So it's a Cyburst, it's a level two. It's not a fire, unfortunately. Um, when your Cybers link battles, so when it attacks or is attacked, you discard it from hand, and the, the monster that you're battling with gets bounced back to the hand. So you can go Cynet, or you can just go into Debug, you can search this, and you can just attack over Winder, um, and bounce Winder. And the second effect is, um, when it's in the graveyard, if your, any of your monsters destroys any of their monsters in the sense of the graveyard, you activate this, you banish any card, you target a Cyburst level 4 or lower, and you add in your graveyard and add it back to hand. So both effects is once per turn. So you can use the second effect if it's in graveyard. Um, if you kill something, you can add this back to the hand. And then if there's a problem monster, a big monster or window or whatever, you can attack over window and then you drop this on the same turn. Or you can add Gazelle back, which is really good. Um, one of the big problems with uh, Salman Grey right now, because Mirage is gone, is outing big monsters, like problem monsters, and this really helps that. And it also turns, it's bit, it also acts as an Alter Guys Kun Query, which, uh, which the, the deck doesn't have. Like, so if they attack as well, you can just, if you, if you have no back row, they might feel safe attacking with like a Boral Sword or something, you can just drop that. For the salad spells, free will, this is really standard. The field, the circle, free desires. And the final spell is free mining. For the traps, we have. Oh, this is a hand trap too, I guess. So, impermanence. Uh, I really don't like this card going first, but um, it's more versatile. It's not that good against Spiral at all. But uh, there's so many diverse decks. I wanted something that was decent for everything. So it, 
does help against a lot, a lot of the rogue matchups, which right now you can lose against. Like any of the tier one decks, they can lose against the rogue decks. So it's again, it's more important you play something that you know because if you don't know them, the rogue decks can get you as well. Um, solid traps. This is pretty standard. And uh, yeah, like <laughs> you almost play with, with solid right now. You almost play wolf control with, with traps. I don't have anything else to say about this, this is pretty standard. And the one Imperial Order, I think this is like absolutely necessary. It's really good against Shadows, it's really good against them. Even Subterra, if you go first, it stops their extravagance, it stops their duality, it stops their, their field spell. And there's a lot of combo decks, like even heroes, they use a lot of spells. Like this is just this, set up this with this, it's like game. Over. The only Shadow deck I played all weekend. I got very lucky. I managed to 2-0 in games with uh, against them in like 10 minutes, just because I opened this twice. You know. So extra deck. Yep. Again, pretty basic. Three bailings, three wolf, two helio, one transcode, one update jammer, one heater, one borrow load. You have to play this card to out problematic monsters, big monsters. Uh, one Phoenix. Some people don't play this, but uh, I'm really afraid of like also guys in Subterra with this deck uh, when I'm playing with this deck, and it does help sometimes. I, I do understand that some of the good Salamander players they don't play this. They play like Lingaribo or things like that. But um, there's also times where I play mind control in my side. There's also times where you just need to link away into like a generic one, link two, and um, yeah. uh, one Dweller and Zero Bros. So I think this is much better than Appaloosa. Appaloosa, every time I... At first, when I picked up Salad, I played Appaloosa, literally just because everyone else played it, but I noticed I never brought it out. Whenever I bring it out, the situation is just not good. It doesn't help you resolve anything. It, like, you only bring it out to try and stop Nibiru, but then you just... It's really hard to follow up with any plays. So, Zero Boss is really good because... Um, um, uh, unlike, uh, well, unlike Topological, you just need... Oh, wait, never mind. I lost my train of thought, train of thought there. Uh, yeah, so instead of going to going into transcode and yeah. this, you can go into if you have a wolf, you can go into uh, jammer, and then these two go into this. And this attacking twice is just absurd. Like uh, after desires, and they they're likely to banish stuff. Um, even if you don't kill them, like there was a situation where I made this attack twice, but just having this on the field meant that they can't combo off. And if they don't do anything next turn in Pathful, then I'm attacking for game. Okay, so yep. Side deck, two mind control, just a very generic card that's good against the mirror match. Um, maybe some combo situations if you hand trap them and then you can mind control the Appaloosa or something like that. Um, good against Subterra, just anything. Um, everything right now especially if it's close to time and it's only maybe like five minutes left and um, you only get like one turn each mind control is really good in that situation if you go in second twin twister the third nibiru um free cosmic cyclone um so with these i chose these over evenly and i chose them over lightning storm the problem with, with this deck is that it grinds it doesn't win in like it's rare that it wins in just like one turn so you have to play a grind game and lightning storm and evenly it's just not good in the grind game because you always have will face up you always have um the, card, the field spell face up so unlike spiral where you can play like lightning storm evenly because you just need that turn to win i prefer something that can grind it it's just not a dead card later on there's also some decks that make you go first as well like invoked, anything with it, with invokes and mechanics and things like that. If they make you go first, you can have this and this out the meltdown. You can you can target uh, their face down when it's set, so they might not be able to carry on. They might not be able to mechanize. Um Sometimes in a mirror as well, this is quite good. And I prefer this uh, against Alter Guys or Subterra because or well, Subterra hits definitely one, and Alter Guys because I can I can just do it any time on a spoofing when they try to activate it. So I, I think this is more versatile overall, even though those cards are way more impactful. Um, free draw, which is really nice.
necessarily right now against spirals and even heroes. I don't think I have to explain much about that. And free summon it. So this last space, it could have been I wanted a high impactful card going first against this so many combo decks. Um, I wanted something that's this could have been different um, different dimension ground or what's that called? The barrier that stops Fusions, dimensional barrier. Dimension, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, it could have been that, but that is only for decks like fusion. So that's like a small portion of the amount of decks that are represented this weekend. So I wanted this, which is basically good against all of them if you're going first. And that is the deck. Any last words? Shoutouts. Shoutouts. Um, basically every single person that's uh, tested with me, which is like all the world grinders in the room, and we could have playing regionals like every other weekend and um, it's really cool that that your competition is mutually helping each other um, so yeah we talk about theory a lot we talk about we, talk, we test a lot and anyone like literally everyone has ever lent me cards because i don't own any of these cards so yeah they've been a lot of help and it's been a good tournament long but yeah it's been good thanks for the list well, congrats